Hey everyone! Today I wanted to do a review on my Filofax A5 planner in the fluoro pink and I have had a ton of requests to go through this baby and um, I've been meaning to for so long and I kept thinking though like well I want to like perfect this well I want to decorate it and well now I changed my whole way of using my planner and then I was finally just like it's never gonna be like ready so I'm always gonna be changing it and so I figured I'm just gonna show you now what I'm doing with it and if it changes then I'll make another video but um, I kept like putting it off and putting it off and I feel bad because I kept telling everyone like yes I'm gonna film a video and it's been like six months so um, I'm gonna go through it I'm just gonna show it to you really quickly with this camera angle and then I'm gonna change it so you're looking down at the planner um, so this is the Filofax A5 size, and I love the size. It's really big. You can see it's as big as my head. Um, but I have really big writing, and I like to be able to really write a lot of stuff in here. As you'll see, I almost use this more as a notebook than as a planner. Um, and so for me to have space was like a huge deal. Um, Originally, I did really want the Louis Vuitton GM planner and still that would it's kind of like a holy grail item But at this point in my life, I would so much rather spend like 700 or whatever dollars on a handbag or something than this because while I do use this a lot and I love it I don't know if I use it enough to warrant that kind of price tag um, I purchased this last year, I think in November, um, because I remember that I got either a Black Friday or some sort of Christmas deal on it. So I got around $20 off. These are usually around $100 um, because it's leather, um, but I think mine was around like 80 something. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, um, I definitely would maybe wait for a sale if you can. Um, I have used this a lot. I'm just looking to see if there's any wear and tear. Um, because it's kind of a lighter color, like you do get some spots on it every now and then. Most of it wipes off. This is definitely very wipeable and very durable. Um, I absolutely love it. It has the front button closure here that says Filofax, and then it has these little tabs here on the side. Um, and then it opens up like this. And you have a pen loop here and then a pocket and these are like card slots that are totally useless and then this is just like um, I don't know what the word is for it like raw leather I, I don't know but it's like it's not smooth like the outside and when I first got it I hated this because like little pieces were like falling off but I think it's just because it's like so raw of leather and now it's gotten a lot smoother and it's really nice and so I think that's just kind of like part of the process. I don't know. It smells really nice though. I just got like a whiff of the leather. Um, and so then you can see the six rings here and then in the back there's another pocket and then this is for like um, if you have like a long list of you know a long paper thingy that you want to put there for list making you can put it there. Um, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to flip the camera angle now so that I can show you what I actually have in it. Okay so here we are looking down on my planner and I apologize for the wonky angle. Um, I have a totally makeshift setup going on here. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, there is a pen loop right here. And I really like this pen loop because it's stretchy and it can fit really um, any size pen because of that. So that's really nice. Um, in here, I don't really use these that often, but I have some page flags. And then this you could use as another pen loop but when you fold it over it kind of squishes right here so I don't really use it for anything um, there are these two card slots here but because I don't really use this as a wallet um, I don't use these at all you could use these for business cards um, but they really go unused by me and then I put these um, Russell and Hazel sticky notes here and I will show you how I use these later so I will set these aside um, this pocket right here you can slip papers in but I find that it's really tight on these sides and so 
I just don't think that this is that useful of a pocket. Like you can fit this in, but if you fold um, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, it's really difficult to get it in because right here and right here is kind of tight. So um, I've seen like the Louis Vuitton GM agenda, which kind of is a little wider to here. And then this top part is open so you can slip papers in that way. And I think I would have preferred that. Um, so that's probably one of the only cons to this is that you can't really fit a lot of papers there. Um, so here I have my um, dashboard that is um, Cessa V and it says slay the day. And I just really like that. It's always kind of a positive affirmation to open this up and just be like, yeah, I'm gonna slay this day. And this is just a clear, um, oh, this is like a fly leaf, I think, or whatever it's called. Um, this is just a clear thing. And then it has this on the back and then it has a white side as well. So you can like swap it out. So that's really fun. So right now I have it on the black side. Um, and as you will see, I have tried out many different planner companies. So I did buy um, the Day Designer um, planner set and it just didn't work for me. It's really nice paper, really, really beautiful. Um, the, the layout and the actual planning part of it was just really too small for me I guess as I get into it. But anyways, I kept this because it's pretty and this has my contact info on it, which is why um, I put some uh, sticky notes over that. This is just um, like a Project Life card and um, my wedding song with my husband was um, Jack Johnson's It's Always Better When We're Together. And so when I found this, I was like, oh, so I just keep it there just because it's pretty and it reminds me of him. And then these are just like other cards that I stuck on here. Um, I am loved and these are Sesa V stickers and I, I wasn't like intending on keeping this as my main um, divider and so I was like oh that looks pretty I'll just stick them on there and like you know six months later here I am with the same like random stickers here <laughs> so um yeah this is like not how I want it to be designed but again like I'm just never gonna have the time to get it perfect how I want it so um these dividers are all the um day designer day designer um dividers that came with the planner set that I bought and I don't super love them because the tabs don't go out as far as I would like. So I'm in the market for some new ones, um, but for now these work. And this, um, I just in my favorites video talked about how much I love Rifle Paper Company. And this is just a, a greeting card from Rifle Paper Company that I just taped in here because I love her artwork and I love this that says life is beautiful. It's just a good reminder. Um, oh, and here's part of my planner. <laughs> Good thing it doesn't really say anything that I don't want you to see. Um, but this again is Sessa V and this is the week planner and this is what I've been using and I really like it. Um, I'm going to flip you two pages with nothing on it. Let's see. Here we go. So this is the week and this is how I've been planning and I've really been liking it. Um, when I tried a weekly layout a while back, I just... It wasn't working for me and something about this I'm not sure I just I really like it so the way that I use this is um, I'm using my planner in conjunction with an app called Wonderlist and when I first was using my planner I just had a different tab section for my to-do list and then I would go into my to-do list and write you know all my to do's down here um, for the week and I just wasn't loving it and so what I decided to do is in Wonderlist, I keep to-do lists and lists of things that are constantly changing. And I like having that digitally because I don't have to keep erasing it or you know writing down on new sheets of paper because I don't like scribbles of crosses crossing things out. Like <laughs> I like things to be neat. And so I would be like constantly rewriting my to-do list, which, which just wasn't an efficient use of my time. So I'm using the app Wonderlist for my to-dos, and then every week when I sit down, I write the days of the week in here, and I look at my calendar, which is also online. Um, and the reason I use an online calendar is because I share it with my husband, and we are always putting things in each other's calendars, and it just would not work to have a paper calendar system with him. Um, so I use BusyCal for that. And so I will pull up my calendar and my to-dos on my computer, and I will write down any appointments that I have first, and then I will start filling in to-dos from my to-do list, 
And then um, as the week goes by or anything that just pops into my head that I kind of want to do that week, I'll just write here under miscellaneous. And then um, throughout the week as I'm crossing things off, I'll kind of glance over here and I'll be like, oh, I wanted to do this. So let's do it this day because I have some time. So that's pretty much how I do it. Um, I don't, I'm really bad at looking at this because I'm not in a really good routine right now, but um, I usually like to start the morning off looking at what I have to do and then kind of going down my list. Um, but a lot of times I will just like look at it and then not check back and then look at it at night and then be like, oh man, I didn't do like half the things on my list. So um, I need to get better at doing that for sure. But um, this layout is really working for me. And I want to show you this. I just didn't want to show you anything on that paper, but um, I ordered this from Etsy and um, it goes like this and it just says today and you can like, you know, feel the top up here so you can just flip right to today. So whatever week I'm on, this is what I put here. And um, I just cut little slits here so that I can just easily tear it in and out without having to open and close the rings. Um, and so yeah, I love that. Like I mentioned before, I think in another video, I love hexagons. So I really like that. And then these are just um, other sheets. And then this um, goes to a different planner set. I think it's called the Happy Planner. And I just bought some inserts from Michaels when I first got my planner. And I was like, oh, well, it's a different size, but I'll just hole punch it to fit my planner. And it totally did not work. Like, as you can see, this is totally off center, but <laughs> I really love the size of this tab. That's why I still keep it. Um, as you can see here, if we go back here, you see how small that is compared to this one and it sticks out farther. So that's why I have different tabs. Um, and it's really pretty too. So I keep that in here for now, even though it's like totally not cohesive and not designed. <laughs> Um, in the same vein, but anyways, so this is um, my meal planning and food section and here um, If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm doing Whole30 and so I watched a bunch of other youtubers um, videos on Whole30 and a lot of them went shopping at Trader Joe's and at Costco and so I just wrote down what they buy from those stores just as ideas for when I went shopping um, these are just healthy meal ideas. I don't even know like why I wrote that down because I'm not even using it. Um, this is something that I am working on that I haven't finished and this is just, um, I redid my recipe binder and in the front of it I wanted to have um, kind of like this but larger but I just wanted to have like these are the meals that we like to have and so when I'm meal planning I can just look down the list of like our favorite meals that are really easy to plan that aren't really even recipes you know like I don't need a recipe to cook steaks or burgers but it just helps me when I'm meal planning and so this is kind of just a, um, a list and when I'm done I'll type it up and put it in the recipe binder but I was still working on it and then this was sides and breakfasts and then this is lunch and then this um, this is just really 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 old um, notebook paper that I got from an Erin Condren planner like honestly it must have been like five or six years ago and my name was on the bottom that's why there's that little piece of paper um, so this is a list um, that I want to have like a permanent list that I'm kind of just adding to but this is anytime I go to Costco these are the foods that we like to buy there and so when I'm making a shopping list for a Costco I can just refer here and be like do we need eggs or you know kombucha or whatever and then just kind of like make my list from here and then this is just more of that paper and then this is, um, I got this from Michaels, and this is just an Erin Condren um, like insert, and you can do your meal planning on it, and then I cut it again so that I can just rip it in and out. Um, and you can write on it with dry erase markers, which I was doing at first. At first I was like writing our meals in here, but that's just kind of a pain, and so <laughs> I'm not actually using it for anything other than a page marker. Um, I might in the future. I really do think it's a great idea and I love the colors, but you can see there there's a little bit of dry erase marker. Um, but it just was a little too fussy for me. So um, this is an example of the um, menu planning pages I have and the grocery list pages. And this paper is from Lime Life Planners. And um, 
Full disclosure, my good friend Leslie is the owner of Lime Life Planner Company and she is fantastic and her company is fantastic. Um, I'm not sponsored in everything I have from her. I have paid for myself even though she is my friend because I support her business. But I just want you to know that I have not gotten these for free. Um, but her paper quality is amazing. It's so soft. It's like a pleasure to write on. And her designs are so fun and so cute. I just love it. Um, I had her um, weekly uh, planner thing. And I think I might buy that when my marbling one runs out. I like to always toss it up. I go back and forth between liking like really plain, really minimalistic, and then I like really fun, bright colors, you know, like this. So I go back and forth. Um, but anyways, Lime Life planners are fantastic. If you are in the market for a new planner, I highly recommend you can get a spiral ring bound or you can get A5 punched inserts, which is what I've done here for the menu. So this, the reason I love it is because over here you have the days of the week and you can write, um, <laughs> as you can see, I kind of write nonsense in my <laughs> planner. Um, so I think <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing you guys. So as you can see, I just have like eggs and hash, standard, same Z's. guess what? And then like that, because it's the same thing every morning. So I was just being like cheeky to myself. Um, but yeah, there are swear words in my planner, so <laughs> that's super awkward. Um, but anyways, and then I write my grocery list over here. Usually at the top here, I'll write Costco and then just everything I need from Costco and then like Whole Foods or wherever I'm going here. Um, and I like to separate them out. So like you can see on a small scale, I did that where I put produce here and then like frozen food here. And I like to do that um, to group it by where it is in the store. It just makes it easier for when you're shopping. So next, um, this is my notes section. This again is another rifle paper company. Um, card and then this is another um, ruler that was from my original Erin Condren planner back in the day and again I hole punched it and cut it here so you can pull it in and out and these are just like random notes and things that I did not want to put into Wonderlist because so anything that's more of like a note or has more thought to it than just like you know random to do's goes here in this section um, and so some of them, some of these are lists, but I felt like they had more that I wanted to write and I kind of wanted them to live in my planner. You'll see as we get along. But um, so one of them is my 2016 New Year's resolutions and I wrote them all down and I just think that it helps to like, to look at these regularly and just go through and say like, oh yeah, I've done that. And unfortunately I have not done many things on my list, although you will see number three is start a YouTube channel and I have done that. So yay, go me for doing one thing. <laughs> um, this, let's see, I don't know if I wanna show you that. This is just a um, daily routine sheet that I'm coming up with because I kind of wanna do like, um, get my life more organized. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna get into these, but look at all these, all of these are YouTube video ideas, you guys. I have like so many ideas and just never enough time. So that's basically what that is. Oh, and this is um, Lime Life paper again, and this is probably my favorite design. I just love it. Um, so yeah, and then this is just um, Sesame plain lined paper that I also love. And oh, I forgot to show you how I use these, duh. Let me go back. Let's go back to the week pages. Um, and when this is here, a lot of times what I'll do is that morning, if I'm super on my game, I'll look at what I have to do. And a lot of times, like, these are just my to-dos, but I won't have written, like, um, you know, like, go to the park with the kids or, like, you know, what we've decided we're going to do that day. So I'll take one of these stickies and put it right here. And then I'll kind of like rewrite the day out here and any changes, because sometimes things change, you know, we'll be like, oh, we're not gonna go to the beach this day, we're gonna go to the beach this day and go to the zoo here. So things may have changed, and so I like to kind of write out a fresh day and just stick it here on this today tab. And yeah, it kind of does get stuck there. It's not a perfect system, but, um, so yeah, I've done that a couple times and I, I really liked it. So that's that. So then let's flip back to here. 
and this is just I don't even know what that is I think I as I mentioned like I recently put some stuff in Wonderless, so I used to have like way more sections in here and like to do's and all of that stuff so obviously I'm not even using this anymore um, and then just another ruler that I don't even need and then I keep some coupons here and this is another thing that I don't use um, these are stickers that came with the day designer um, planner set that I just keep in here I should use them and then another fly leaf and then the back here you can stick some things under here I just have um, I just really liked what this said so I keep it here kind of as inspiration and this my husband got me um, this is so cute so he got me a Sephora gift card and he said happy Valentine's Day this is so sprinkles and sparkles which was my original channel name can go get some more product to review you should go today so you can get to a hundred love you so much uh, like when I first started my channel I was like I just really want 100 subscribers and I was like so I was counting every single subscriber till I got to 100 and I was so so excited when I hit 100 and so it just meant so much that he went to get that for me and so I keep it there it kind of is like my my inspiration so um and then again you have this here where you could put like um some note paper but I don't I don't use it at all so so that's it um yeah, I really use this in conjunction with my digital calendaring, calendaring system, and I, it works out really well for me um, because I really do like to write things down on paper, and I think that you don't have to be all digital or all paper. I really think that you can combine the two and do what works best for you. Um, so as I change and do more things, I'll do an updated video on this, um, but for now, this is what's working for me. Um, again, I still do want to decorate it differently because it's not at all how I want it to look, but you know, I nobody got time for that. So it's probably <laughs> going to stay the same and in six months when I show you my updated planning, it's probably going to be the exact same. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions on anything that was in my planner or any of the apps that I use and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.